It's a net worth already. He's so bad every game I watch. Yep. He is a net worth accumulator, and those are good to have on your team, I tell you. It always feels like you can win a game, especially when it's in the off lane. Who was the best uh, net worth accumulator that you ever played with? Back in the day, I feel like it was Sumail. Yeah, that guy just created gold out of nothing. And another person who, you know, was very much known for winning his lane in a hardcore way. Yeah, it though. definitely helps when you win your lane. TA 2000, gonna be brought back into the Primal Roar. And uh, should be killed here. They have plenty of disables to work him down. You know who else, who else actually came to mind? Who? I think Resolution. I think yeah. when Resolution played carry, man, there were so many games he was just like 3,000 ahead of the enemy carry. It's just, it just shows. Some people just know how to farm. I don't know about nowadays. <laughs> yeah, off lane res. That's a, that's <laughs> a little different than old past. school. Stand in <laughs> for Empire Rezo. Now that was a special Rezo right there. That is very true. <laughs> I don't know if he's happy or mad about that shout out. I'll take both here. <laughs> hey, at least you got a shout out. That's this one. It's true. But Amar is definitely up there, man. This guy, he might be the fastest farming off lane we've seen in a long time. Especially off the lane. His lane mechanics are stellar. Sitting at 61 and 24 up here. The prize Tonight, is mine. So much away from Mickey. He's yeah, look how under barn Mickey is. Created a 2k net worth disparity up here. <laughs> I mean, sure, there was a single Wind Ranger game, but this much? This is a disgusting amount of net worth he's going to have, and it's going to be a question what do you do with it? Do you buy a fast blink? Do you try and scale? Does this hero scale in the same ways that Amar used to make it scale? Yeah, like the old Midas? Scepter and Deso and stuff. He's going to go Midas. <laughs> What an absolute gangster. I mean, you said it's good to have net worth generation. Nothing generates more net worth than a Midas. I guess so. This is just... Is it too greedy? Is anything too greedy for the... Midas Mars? Is that even a thing? Hey, it wasn't a thing until Amar made it a thing. But what are you Midasing into? Dyer's into BKB Deso Axe. Okay, well, that sounds... Yeah, if you get all that, that sounds pretty good. I just think it's interesting because I don't think of Mars as a hero where the levels are that impactful. I mean, levels are good on every Dota hero. Sure. It's just yeah. not it's so crazy level. Yeah, it's not like, I don't guys, I really need maxed out Bulwark before we can fight. I think he's just going to go BKB. He's debating. We'll see what he ends up doing. Always interesting here. Radiance Kill some more spiderlings. He's getting a lot of those. So he has to add to his total here. Regeneration. And Minus is going to be purchased by the Dragonite, though, so Nisha is going to be building up, which is kind of expected at this point. This is standard for Dragonite. Yeah, I think it just feels way better. It kind of ends up paying for itself pretty fast. Another issue is if you just rush Blink, a lot of times that play is very forced. It's like the early Axe Blink, and if you don't have high damage supports like a Skyrather's lane, the move is not guaranteed. It feels very awkward. I just hate that type of gameplay. Yeah. Like, just take the Midas, take the space you can create off the towers and farm it up, and play for Dragonite's timing, which I think is a late game hero. It's like Black Dragon with Manta, Noctarine, or Daedalus Mjolnir, or whatever type of build you want to go for here. Dyer's Even MKB or Nullifiers would be on the menu. Woo! Mickey didn't expect to be running into a Shattered even there. And Amar, okay, oh, finally does get off the arena. Took him a second there. Spear plus the arrow. Pretty easy. Oh, and Tiva Noob joining in on the party attempted to take it with the power shot. And how, many, how much gold have they gotten off Spiderlings already in the game? It feels like a lot. Yeah. Really interesting to see it. Uh, sometimes it's not that much this early on. However, I've been seeing a mark clearing through these waves. Definitely adding to his CS totally finds the kill. And he went blink. Look at that. He was debating Midas, but he'll take the blink instead. Okay. Discipline him. I mean, I guess he really shouldn't be too worried about late game. I... The late game can go either way. Just not at the rate Mickey is farming on this brew, man. Where is his network? He has been shut down very hard. And is this a Mickey hero? It doesn't I really look like question. it to me. Yeah. I'm not feeling it so far. I mean, I'm sure he can play it. I'm sure it's something Liquid Scrim. It just doesn't stick out to me. I feel like I've almost never seen him play it. You go back to those Liquid teams, it was Matumbo or Zai. Yeah. I feel like he'd be third on the list. Going into high maybe he uh, maybe he is a Broodmother player, just not at a level that he can play against Amar in lane. You know what I mean? It's a tough matchup, too. I do think it's Mars favored. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's like all these little things to get you out of a lane, right? 
And this is a long chase. The dog's a stunt. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Still dying for it, but he drew a lot of attention. The very bottom right part of the map in Quest is up 2,000 net worth now. A lot of that network is in this Mars brood lane. The DK and Beast are still finding a decent amount of farm for Liquid, and they are kind of the key key pieces here, right? As bad as the brood game is, in theory, this brood is is not pivotal to their gameplay. He doesn't have to do too much here, other than maybe provide a Roshan and, and kill a support in the fight. It was first phase. It got counterpicked. Your lane was tough. Oh, it's going to fall down to the DK and the Beastmaster to carry the weight in these early fights. Blink is up for Misha, so that Dragon Knight is online. Do they want to look for a fight with it? How good is their follow-up? You get a good Rubik spell. Maybe it's good enough with Max Frostbite Maple. Yeah, Beast deals Arrow from Marana. That sounds great, but otherwise it seems kind of meh. Yeah, and the move is coming from Quest first. That blink on Amara was a little faster. Oh god, are they gonna catch Mickey again? Do they even want to find Mickey again? I mean, I feel like you might want a better target at this point. Yeah, you squished the spider so many times. And smoke on smoke, blink on blink. Nisha, he's gonna jump first, jumps onto the Shattered Demon instantly, an arena shackle shot. Chaining up the disabled, but that's okay. Anything to control up Nisha at this point in time. They only need a little bit more damage to finish him off, and that was enough. The Shadow Poison does the trick. Primal War will help them get two in return, though. And Zinsania, only two uh, stacks of Shadow Poison should survive. So not the kill in the tower that Quest was looking for. It's looking for all five mid. Still lose the Dragon Knight. Light us off cooldown. Extra sad here for Nisha as he loses his gold efficiency. I'm sure Mikke is happy about getting some extra experience in gold in this game, though. Yeah, the certainly. Blank. It was not him getting jumped for once. And they have a chance to uh, make a move still because they, well, he used Moonlight Shadow. I, I thought they would wait until the Dragonite was back into play because after all, Nisha didn't use Dragon Form in that fight. And they used Moonlight Shadow and Arena and stuff. So I thought this would be go time for Liquid. That's a rare spell to get. Yeah, certainly. Not a skill you see often. Oh, very valuable. One not yield anything in the first result. I also like the Maelstrom Rush. I think this is the correct way to think about the Wind Ranger in this game. It's just provide as much single target damage and pick off as you can to bring down some big core hero and open the fight for the Naga and the Mars. I think if he went Atos first, it's just too little impact. I think he would have no damage to stop the Dragon Knight. Yes, that's a big factor. The Maelstrom Rush is way better versus the DK than the Atos, which is stats and nothing else, which, I mean, who cares about tanking up versus a hero that's going to kill you over time. Yeah. Well, good recovery here for the Brood as Mickey got almost 2,000 gold in the last few minutes here. This hero farms fast. That's the upside, even if you shut her down.